Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. And how are you this lovely morning? I'm in the new car. I'm back from Centre Parks. Oh my God, that place is expensive. How much would you say, right? This is a meal for a lunch, a lunch. For six adults, in other words, three couples, and three children, age three, one and zero. So basically, one infant and two babies. We can't, when he won't go off home. We can't even speak. Right, in an Italian quasi, Italian franchise, in centre parks. Six hours, I'll leave that with you for the duration of the of the old block so that you can have a think about that. Centre parks, Italian franchise, lunch, six people and three small, very small children, including including the service charge that they imposed on us because that we were a party of eight. <laughs> eight or more, we were a party of eight or more. Even though one of them was in a pram <laughs> And one and the other one, probably another one was in a high chair, and the other one was was three. Okay. Anyway, I'll come back to that. So, how are you all anyway? How are you all? All right. It's another lovely day in paradise. The sun is shining. Le soleil brille. It's. Uh, I'm on my way to work. I have been away. I've been, you know, I mean, I know I haven't posted a video for a while, but that doesn't mean I haven't been slogging up and down to work, apart from the, my, my week off. I had, uh, we've had a bit of trouble with the video. I had trouble with my phone. I've got a Nexus 5X. I love it to bits. It's exactly the right size screen, you know, fits in my hand, means I can work it with my thumb without needing two hands, and etc, etc. It's my, my size of phone. Anyway, uh, uh, on this uh, Centre Parks holiday, there was a sauna. So, of course, old Angry loves a sauna, so I'm in there straight away. And uh, and uh, everything was fine. Took the phone in, I was listening to me Bitcoin podcasts and everything. And then the second day I took it in and I came out and then shortly afterwards the fingerprint sensor packed up. And you might not think the fingerprint sensor packing up on a phone is such a big deal, but it really is, you know I mean? When, when my mate Alfie said to me, shall I get a Nexus 5X? I said to him, Alfie, I said, you've got to get one. If only because of the fingerprint sensor. Because I'm getting fed up of waking up in the middle of the night and the thing, the phone is locked. And don't tell me you can unlock it by geofencing it and telling it that to be, stay unlocked at home, because that doesn't work. So, I'm, I'm having to type in a pin code or trying through some bleary eyes to draw some picture of a house or a swastika or whatever it is I've my unlocking pattern is but no you just reach out you put your finger on it and all of a sudden it's resuscitated magically comes into life that is was fantastic revelation for me so I decided so so the loss of the old fingerprint sensor was quite a thing anyway <coughs> And my wife's saying, oh, you get, just get yourself another phone. Just get, you know what women are like, eh? They're just old shoppers. They're just like, oh, just get yourself another one. You know, throw it away, throw it away, get the other one. I'm like, no, this, I like this phone. This is my phone, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm sort of quite conservative with a small C. I will not break, a, a throw a phone away unless it is like really, there's a massive advantage to getting a new one or the, the other one is completely smashed to bits. So, this is why I'm driving around in a Peugeot partner van. <laughs> so, anyway, long story short, uh, out comes Android 8. And uh, so I've installed Android Oreo or whatever it's called. The Americans have decided to give it a name, haven't they? Last one was Kit Kat or something. And now the new one is Oreo, which is an American biscuit. So they started naming them after trademark, uh, copyright branded biscuits. And they're all like, oh no, no money changed hands. You know, no money changed hands. Like, no, well something changed hands, didn't it? Something did. Someone's hands got lighter and other person's hands got heavier from something for that. You don't just name a worldwide operating system after an American biscuit for no reason at all. 
You, know, you can't think of anything else beginning with an O. I like, can't call it octopus or, I don't know, something beginning with an O that I'll think of when I get to work. So anyway, where was I? Yeah, so I put this new iOS system on it and then all of a sudden, fingerprint sensor comes back to life. New operating system fixed a bug that led to the uh, fingerprint sensor hardware just being disappearing. And now it's all working again. So, of course, Angry's happy, isn't he? He's angry, happy, angry. So, uh, anyway, where was I going with this? Oh, well, it's all, I mean, today I'm angry about equipment because I'm on my way to work a bit early. I mean, by which I mean like 30 seconds early, you know, you know what I'm like. And by which I mean I'm going to get there 30 seconds less late. And, the, and the, the reason for that is that there's going to be an engineer on the premises. And the reason for that is that he's had to come back twice now to fix a suction pump that was serviced less than a month ago. So there I buy the surgery. And nothing been serviced for years, right? Nothing. And then for a year and a half, I've got no money, so I can't afford to have everything serviced. And then finally, I've got enough money, so I call in the service engineers, get everything serviced. Two weeks later, one of the suction pumps packs up, and it just won't go. You know, it just won't. So we called him out, and he and he he put a little screwdriver in, turned it round. Apparently, I wasn't there, and said to the nurses, "Oh yeah, yeah, I've got it going. It's it was just a bit. It was jammed. You know, it just got stuck in a. Oh, I don't know. I mean, but obviously for the technical amongst you, it's like that there is a position within an electric motor where it won't go forwards and it won't go backwards." So you just have to sort of get it started. It's a very particular, or two very particular positions uh, that uh, it just has a bit of trouble getting going from. And so if you just uh, spin it up, it works. So of course he, did. he said, oh, I've unjammed that one. He hadn't unjammed it, he just moved it in it. Anyway, yesterday, of course, it won't start again. So I had a look at it and it's not jammed. I mean, it's rotating freely. What's happened is that the carbon brushes that on the motor that uh, that work the motor are um, have worn out, and they're not touching the uh, the commutator, whatever it's called. And so, of course, the thing just doesn't work because there's no there's no electrical contact. And these carbon brushes do wear out. I mean, on every electrical engine, as you know, unless it's an induction motor or something, they have carbon brushes that wear out. And uh, and uh, so I'm thinking, well, why? Why would the carbon brushes wear out on a motor that had recently been serviced unless they're not replaced as part of the service? So, <clears throat> which brings me to another branch of my branching story, okay? My motorcycle, my Vespa, which had been languishing in my garage for 10 years, I decided that uh, I was going get to uh, get it fixed. Which brings me to another branch of my branching story, which is why I've not been doing videos. Which is that the uh, I mean having problems with this with this thing recording uh, video because it won't record video and sound or rather it records the the sound okay or, and then it, there's a glitch in the video or it records there's a glitch in the video and the sound and so I'm having to spend a lot of time in post production trying to synchronise the sound with the video for the second half of the blooming recording and, and I was hoping really that it could just record for 20 minutes without without glitching. But apparently not. So I'm going to give this. I'm giving this another chance because the um, I'd like to do it this way. In fact, I'd like to do it in 360. And I've done a couple of 360 videos. One of them I did publish. But the problem with the 360 videos is that the the amount of data involved is just too much. It's like bleeding edge technology, and it's actually the data is is actually not massive because it's it's the same amount of data as you're seeing now except that it's wrapped around 360, which is why the resolution is, is lower on 360 videos. But you get the, ad the advantage of just being able to look around. Um, but uh, the software that comes with this stuff is, is all sort of bleeding edge, like it's a Samsung 360 video camera, and the only software you can get that works with it is a Samsung software, and that really only works with the Samsung phone, which I haven't got. But, but does you know you can set it up using an iPhone, which I've borrowed my wife's to do that. And uh, there's so much data going through these computers to try and render it all and sort of put it in a format that you can upload onto YouTube that the computers is 
last couple of times I've tried it, it's just choked. And I don't know really what's happening because it's, you're not there, you know, you're like, it's, it's going to take two hours. So you don't sit there and watch the screen, you go away and do something else, don't you? And then when you come back, the computer's rebooting and it's, the computer's sitting there all innocent, like, yeah, what, sorry, what, no, <laughs> me, what? sorry, should I, am I supposed to be doing something? Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the problem with the videos is that the phone I'm hoping that the the uh, Oreo 8 update will solve the video glitching problem on the Nexus 5X if it doesn't then I'm gonna have to and I want to go to the 360 thing anyway but the way this software works is that when they release a, a 360 camera for the consumer the first sort of consumer 360 camera that's of any decent quality and then they release the software that goes with it but as I say you've got no choice but to use their software and their software at that point their software is a sort of proof of concept it's not you know it's not alpha software you know they really shouldn't have any bugs but or oh, let's put it this way any bugs that it's got are really serious because <laughs> they haven't found them or they can't fix them so this this sort of uh, not being able to shift all the data in the rendering and just crashing out without any uh, warning or any sort of safety then is is uh, is something you have to put up with and then the next step is that they what is this bloke in front of me doing oh he's lost oh he's deciding he can't decide which arm of the roundabout to go off so yeah so then the so then what happens is that they they all you know all these new camera manufacturers with all their varying standards they all get together and under the auspices of the ICANN or whatever and uh, decide on a 360 video specification and then you start seeing after about two years you start seeing it being rolled out into mainstream video editing products like uh, like the uh, Adobe and the uh, Sony products but we're not there yet so I'm just totally reliant on their software and their software is as, as I say it's just about enough to get your average punter up and running you know who's going to be videoing his children's birthday party or uh, you know or something not 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 making a 12 not making a 20 minute video documentary about the pr travails of being a dentist so anyway i put my uh, scooter in to the garage and i said to him get it back on the road so he basically they did two things which i couldn't do which are they've got the engine up and running again and sort of tuned it up to a reasonable degree and also um, had to do a bit of rewiring because the wiring had perished what with it being a, a Vespa and 15 years old and um, and then then they don't do the sort of the stupidly <laughs> the speedo is not working so the speedo is not working and the wing mirror the, the wing uh, rear, rear view mirror was flapping about in the breeze so I took it back and he said, I'll oh, bring it back, he said, uh, so so anyway, I drive it away again and the wing wearer is not flapping in the breeze and the speedometer is working and then a week later, the speedometer is not working again and the wing mirror is flapping around in the breeze again today. And it just goes to show, this is what I keep saying over and over again, is to be good in this world, you just have to be not bad, right? If you want to be a dentist, a good dentist, then just don't fuck things up. This is people, you know, it's honestly, I think the thing is that people just don't understand the machinery. A lot of them, they're going by the, uh, the gut feeling or they've not got no experience on it, but they think that they can translate their skills from uh, servicing a Peugeot to servicing a Vespa, or they uh, think that they're some kind of genius mechanic that can fix anything, or but basically they're just working from a rule book you know they don't really a lot in the past a mechanic could have stripped something like that down to the last nut and bolt and then and put it all back together again but now no they can't you know they can't and they don't even really know when they're doing a good job and when they're doing a bad job i mean a wing mirror is just a is a bolt it's a nut and a bolt i mean surely you know whether you've tightened a nut and a bolt i mean if you don't know if you're a mechanic and you can't tell if you've tightened up a nut and a bolt properly you really shouldn't be a mechanic, should you? So anyway, I'm going to have to take that back again and say to him, look, your repair has, has failed. Anyway, the, the you know, because the... Oh, 
I used to look after machinery. It was my summer job when I was a student. We worked at Bowwaters on the Bliss Vertical Press. And our job was to uh, keep them going. But th that's another story, actually. That's an interesting story that illustrates another point, which I don't really want to get into, because I need to move further away. I need to either work further away or live further away, because I just don't have the time to go into absolutely every aspect of it. So I'm going along to, to this, try and sort out what this engineer, this engineer says, oh, don't worry, he says, I'll bring along a replacement unit and I'll take it away and, and you know, we'll give it a full diagnostic and see what's happened. And I know what's happened, the carbon brushes have worn out. And I know why the carbon brushes have worn out, because he didn't put new carbon brushes in it when he serviced it. And what he's done is, you know, because the carbon brushes are not going to be worn out on the day that the, the engineer visits, so they're always going to be working on the day that he visits. And he's going to have looked at them and thought, oh, they'll be all right for a bit longer. I'll, and these nice new carbon brushes that come with the service pack, I'll stick them in my pocket. Which is, was all right as far as it went. But the only problem is, and his, his problem is, that that sort of behaviour can, under certain circumstances, get discovered. And the, re the way it gets discovered is when the engine breaks down two weeks after it's been serviced. <laughs> Because, because it's worn out. Because, because the items that are in the service pack haven't been used to service it. You greedy lying bastard! <laughs> oh God Almighty! You know, I mean, you know, <laughs> don't ever say. If I ever meet you socially, don't ever walk up to me and say, "Angry? Why are you so angry?" <laughs> don't say, don't, please don't say that. Because I know I very rarely hit anybody. But I think I probably would hit someone who walked up to me and said that. <laughs> See, have I not given you enough examples of why being angry is, is, is the right and necessary permanent state for everybody, and certainly someone like me, you know? <laughs> you pay a bloke good money, whether it's to repair your scooter or repair your suction machine, and what are they, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like my hero is that guy in uh, was it Lethal Weapon? The guy guy uh, Guess Leo Leo Guess, who's sitting in the back of the car and they go through the uh, fast food uh, takeaway, and he tries to get them to to wait until he checks that they've given him <laughs> given him what he's ordered, and then but they don't, and they drive away, and he goes through it all, and he and he's, he's absolutely furious and loses it because. They haven't given him what he asked for, and he's quite right. He's paid. He's paid, and he knows what he wants. He's paid for it, and they haven't given it to him. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear. And I'm like, you know, I, I feel his pain. I feel his pain. Oh come on! There's plenty of time to slow down. This guy, I don't have to find out how to turn off all the safety features in this car because this is this is just getting ridiculous beeping all the time just because someone stops in front of you what's it what are you thinking Suzuki what are you thinking people do stop you know people do stop in front of you I can't drive like a granny I don't want to drive like a granny <laughs> anyway I'm going to go and see if I can catch him changing the garb and brushes, but I'm not because he's, that's why he's bringing another unit and he's taking it back to give it a good work in there. Oh, yes. Oh, well, there's a very difficult problem as well. Oh, yeah, we had it apart on the bench for days. Well, we were scratching our head, two or three of us looking at it, and uh, oh, it took us a long time to find out what the problem was, but I won't bother explaining it to you because it was, you know, I mean, you obviously, uh, it's an engineering thing and you, you probably wouldn't understand it. But, uh, but anyway, we fixed it now. Everything's working, good. Good, good, all right, all right, everything else fine? Yeah, fine, okay, fine. He's taking it away because he doesn't want to, anyone to see him replacing the carbon brushes, which he should have replaced when he serviced it. There he is now, I see him now. I'm gonna go and catch him out. I'll look and see if his fingers are black. If his fingers are black, I don't know what he's up to. All right, lovely, I hope this works. Anyway, if so, I'll talk to you tomorrow, bye.